Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Polygon. Yeah, as I said, we are going to still cover it um, after after all your, <laughs> your your comments for yeah continuing to cover it because as I said in the last video that the chart history has reduced. Okay, so I'm now using Maxi. Um, it only shows a little bit of chart history. I know there is a Coinbase chart that shows more, but it also doesn't show the entire history on TradingView. Um, and it's still called Matic, so I assume it might disappear soon, but it doesn't show the entire history as well. So that's kind of useless for calculating support levels. So we we can currently work with what we have here on the chart. And as I said to you in the last video, we are watching either for a B wave bounce to start or a third wave rally, okay? But the yellow wave count is of course questionable, all right, because this would be, um, well, it, it needs to prove itself. And the rally into the August high was just a three wave rally. So that's why I've got the resistance area here on the chart. Uh, that wick might be a little high on the MACC chart, so please consider that. But nevertheless, um, it's not doing anything unusual at the moment. It's just rallying in three waves, even though this rally might seem, uh, let's say, um, impressive right now. It's only rallying in three waves again. Okay, it's only a three wave move. And I'm labeling this at the moment as wave A of the larger B wave. Next, we could see a B wave pullback. Obviously right now there is absolutely no sign. Um, and I need to expect a larger three wave move at the moment. Normally we say such B wave, I mean, this is the standard resistance area defined between 47 cents and 63 cents with 51 cents and 56 cents in between. They are the key, let's say, resistance levels here for a B wave. B waves can sometimes overshoot and as long as the rally is corrective, we might be dealing with a B wave, so the risk is going to be there. But in this current context, where I'm tracking a WXY XZ pattern, ideally the B wave doesn't overshoot. So once we get a break above resistance, we can start to favor the yellow scenario, but still it will be a fragile structure because it is based on a three wave move up uh, initially in wave one, which means the third wave would also be an ABC. Um, to give you an idea how that would look like the yellow scenario, it would be ABC probably in yellow A, then a B and a C. To, to make that very simple, all it means is at the moment, most likely the yellow and the white count are moving together. But the key difference or the key distinction, okay, will be the next pullback. So if the next pullback, so after, after we've completed that three wave move, if the next pullback is corrective in nature, then it's likely yellow wave B. So I will give you a support region it will just be difficult to trade and track given that, um, yeah, we're dealing with, again, ABC structures, right? Also yellow, yellow wave one was an ABC, but it could, that's the problem because this is corrective. Only five wave movements give us a clear indication of the trend, which is why we need to see the entire five wave move to get very clear probabilities. It would already help if the price can break above resistance. It would already help from a bullish point of view if after this three wave move is done, the next pullback is corrective as well as an ABC structure, that will help. And um, it will also help if the third wave reaches the target that a third wave should reach to be a viable third wave, because that's the 1.38 FIP extension. So what we do is we take the length of the wave one, we go to the low of the wave two and we talk about $1.2. But I need to check that with other exchanges because this is Maxi. Um, so I might, again, this is all very new, this chart now. I might move to, to maybe I will use the, 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 the Coinbase chart eventually, um, but we will have to double check. But first, let's see if we can actually break above resistance. That's the update about Polygon. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Um, also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.